buckle your seat belts and strap yourselves in because it's time for us to play the best part of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. We're going to Disney Town for football! Oh great, I hate football. I will always say this, football is terrible, but we gotta play it. Ta-da! We're in the mask of peace and hope. Comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Giastis. Uh-huh. Huh? huh? <laughs> That's my reaction, Aqua. Now listen, you pipsqueak. I'm Captain Justice. Who were you to walk away when the bona fide hero is offering his help? Um, I'm sorry, but I really don't need any kind of hero. Bona fide or... Somebody <laughs> come quick! Oh no, not you. <sighs> What's that? Trouble? Captain Justice to the rescue! You? Oh, well, that's a shame. <laughs> Where is it? Maybe this job's perfect for you, Mr. Hero. What? Name your catastrophe! Those annoying monsters have turned up again over in Fruitball Plaza. Oh no! They're all yours now, Captain J. Monsters? Don't tell me the Unversed are here. The Unversed are ruining Fruitball! You gotta fix it! I'm leaving. Fruitball deserves to be ruined. <laughs> monsters? Well, too bad. Not on my list. I didn't know bona fide heroes got to pick. But I wouldn't stand a chance of surviving uh, 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 fitting them into my schedule. Gosh, I thought you said you were Captain Justice. You can't leave those menacing things running loose. They're ruining fruit balls. Good. <laughs> huh? Hark, do you hear that? Somebody's calling for Captain Justice's help. I'm actually with Pete on this one. Let fruit ball die. Do not fear, I am on my way. Sounds like this catastrophe can't wait, but uh, I'll be back here in a jiff. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm sure you will, Captain Useless, but I don't think I'll stay here and hold my breath. I'm anything but a hero, but maybe I could help if you want. Would you? Oh, that'd be just Jim Dandy. No, Someone Aqua, don't do it. Trounce those fiends at Fruit Ball and keep them away from the plaza. No, I'll try. Not Fruit Ball. I'll just give a holler once you're ready, and I'll explain to you how Fruit Ball works. Ah, uh, no. That's <sighs> Disney Town again. Yay. It's okay, it's the last time we have to go here. Well, no it's not. We gotta turn in our ice cream later. At least we don't have to do fruit ball right away. Hey Huey, Dewey, and Rui. Look at all the stuff we gave you. They still can't make ice cream for us though. Because of course they can't. Do we have any, we do. Okay, we got Fundaga. All right, then let's head down into the sewers. As long as we've got at least one Thunder Command, we will be able to power the Fane up. So my goal is I'm going to use Fundaga, then enter the Thunderbolt Command style. Just like that, okay. There we go. So we power up the underground. Without air slide, it's gonna be interesting trying to get through here, but we always can equip a sliding dash. Oh hey, thunder! Oh hey, a level up! For literally just taking a walk. If only it worked that way in real life. What's in here? It's another thunder. Cool, never can have too much. Hey, wait, don't leave without me. Excuse me. 
The school bus does not get to leave without Aqua on board. Mega Potion. And a Pulsing Crystal. Cool. Guess we'll have to go through this room the old-fashioned way. At least Aqua's got a max level high jump. I don't think Sonic Blade is going to be able to take us to where we need to go, so let's equip a Sliding Dash. Oh no, oh no, uh-uh. Man, Sliding Dash is taking a long time to recharge. Chaos Crystal, and ahem, a Mega Potion, cool. Any stickers? Possibly not. Oh yeah, Sonic Blade forces you to the ground, so you can't use that for air travel like Sliding Dash works. Like I said, Sliding Dash, terrible command for battle, really good for sequence breaking. Always keep one or two of them on hand at any time. You never know when you might need them. Do, do, do. Yeah. Nice job, Aqua. A hungry, hungry crystals. Dane, Aqua is powerful. <gasps> I love Time Splicer. It's such a shame that Terra's the only one who can't get it. It would be a it would be a little too broken for Terra, because Terra's insanely high physical strength stat would just completely <laughs> break it. All right, time to open up the pinball machine again. Oh, oh. Aerial slam, another one, cool. I'm glad we get another one. Actually gonna need that. Soothing crystal. In here, a panacea. And an action recipe. So I think at this point, yeah, we hit all the blue bumpers. Which means we can get the break time chest. Cool. Well, that was a very clean pinball machine. Slot edge. Yay, we don't have to meld it. All right, I'm just going to temporarily equip this other sliding dash here. Purely for demonstration purposes, you understand. And unless I'm mistaken, I think Aqua's the only one who the, uh... The ice cream prizes do not spawn on this side for. So we're gonna do double sliding dash over here. And actually, there's nothing over here. Except for a couple of enemies. And the reason for that is the Sonic Blade strat that we use is actually a sequence break. You're not supposed to be able to do that. And Aqua doesn't get any action style commands that really let her get over there. So, that is purely a sequence break. Still fun to do though. Well, at least we get break time. And I can show it off what uh, Aqua does. So, Terra does push-ups, Ventus does like some break dancing moves. <laughs> I wonder what Aqua's going to do. Yoga maybe? I don't know. Aqua seems like the type of girl who would get into My yoga. Turn. 
She juggles her keyway. Man, it is so hard. To that circle goes so freaking fast. But there you go. That's break time. And a bounding crystal. <laughs> now we'll have a backup if these ten break. A fire, uh, how nice. Disney Town has like the most obnoxious main world music, but the the enemy music is pretty awesome. Yay, Fire Wheel got a level up. It's still not max level yet. Oh, <laughs> and we get another level up for taking a walk. Well, hey, let's let's do a little rumble racing, huh? I can at least show off what uh, Aqua looks like in her speeder bike. Even though I did this already in the Mirage Arena. So Aqua's got her nice little like. Keyblade old persons, uh, like, what well, those motor vehicles in, like, the supermarket is basically what she drives. Control is pretty much the same, the only thing that's really different is her attack. Terra basically spun around, Ventus kind of, like, threw his Keyblade bike a little bit, and Aqua will shoot, basically, arrows of light at the enemies. Too slow. Too slow. Again, I've already done all these races with Aqua in the Mirage Arena, but we still have to do the races here in Disney Town if we want to get the uh, Victory Line Keyblade. That Keyblade's not very good for Aqua, but, I mean, I'm a completionist, so... I'm gonna try to grab it anyways. But I can always do that off-stream. But I at least wanted to do this first race to show off what Aqua looks like when she's doing the Rumble Racing. <laughs> Just barely beat Dewey. Oh boy, we get the High Potion. Alright, that's enough rumble racing for now. Oh yeah, there's actually chests in the main part of town we never got. Like a potion, and the map. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, that part was- that was on me. We could have gotten the map a lot earlier. Any other treasure chests around? Nope. Cool. I really don't want to talk to Dewey because he, he almost beat me in Rumble Racing. Want to play Ice Cream Beat? Uh, I don't, but I will. Aqua doesn't look any good, but look! She's got her hands on the keyboards, which are part of the ice cream machine for some reason. Who thought this was a good idea? I don't know. Yay! And that's all we gotta do. <laughs> Actually, Zaka, we don't even have to do any of it. But I'm going to do all of it. Off screen. Alright, well we put it off. Let's go and play flipping fruit ball. <laughs> Think you're ready to take on those monsters in the fruit ball court? Can I literally just kill them? No! You gotta beat them in fruit ball so they won't come back! <laughs> fruit ball! Everyone's favorite. Hit the fruit into your opponent's goal to score! I don't want to, but that's what we gotta do. Oh wow, this is actually a different fight than what it normally is. The first game the first game of Fruit Ball is always against the bruisers. Now it's against the shoe enemies. Oh, the unversed thinking. I hate fruit ball, but that doesn't mean I'm bad at fruit ball. Also, I love how they have, they literally have three people on their team. I only have one player on my team. And yet, it's still supposed to be a fair fight. And it is, because the lob shots are just kind of broken. Oh, the banana ball. The banana balls I throw on the ground. Because then they'll just constantly slip on the banana peels. Yeah, 
And again, if you're wondering why I hate Fruit Ball so much, try playing it as all three characters without knowing the optimal strategy. It will drive you absolutely crazy. If you don't know about the secret overpoweredness that is the uh, lob shot, you will fail so many times. Because it is literally impossible to aim the other shots. <laughs> Especially when you're fighting uh, Pete at the end. Birth by Sweep on the PSP had multiplayer? I wonder, could you play Fruit Ball multiplayer online on the PSP? Because if you couldn't, then hit, what, did you even play Birth by Sleep online? You could do the Mirage Arena missions online multiplayer. That was actually fun. And the, so, a lot of the commands you get from the Mirage Arena, like Trinity Limit, are only really supposed to be used when you're doing multiplayer online. Like, you can use Trinity Limit by yourself, but, like, it's really not that good. And it takes three slots and has a really slow recharge time that you can't increase. So, yeah, it's not good. You win. That settles up. I hate fruit ball, but I'm good at it. We get a balloon letter. <laughs> That's a letter saying how much I love that you played fruit ball. You should join the grand tournaments in Italy this year. No. <laughs> wow, you sure taught those monsters a lesson. Why couldn't I have just killed them? No! We're the non-violent here in Disney Town. You gotta beat them in fruit ball! You're the real hero in town if you ask me. Hey, Minnie. He's right, my dear. I couldn't agree more. Thank you so much. Who are you? I'm Minnie. And she's our queen. Oh, please excuse me, your majesty. Where are my manners? My name is Aqua. There's no need to be so formal. Just call me Minnie. Aw. Minnie's nice. <sighs> you see, I'm not sure I'm doing a very good job protecting my kingdom. Oh, don't say that, Queen Minnie. We all know how hard it's been since the king set off the way he did. Don't you trouble yourself. I, I think the real reason Mickey set out is not because... The worlds were in danger, but because he just hated fruit ball that much. Uh, we wouldn't even think of putting on our yearly dream festival if we thought there was the slightest chance anything might go wrong. Oh, you're very kind, Horace. How about that Pete, though? Captain Justice, my hide. You can't count on him for anything. Wait, you're saying his real name is Pete? Well, it sure as sugar isn't Justice. Pete never does anything for anybody except Pete. That get up was just an act to get folks to vote for him. He wants to win the Million Dreams Award and hog the prize. Million Dreams Award? We gotta explain this to what each of the that? characters because it's so important to the In overall plot. The Dream Festival, we all vote for who we think the most admirable citizen is. But Pete seems to have the wrong idea. He thinks that dressing up as a hero and proclaiming that he is one will win him votes. What really makes someone a hero isn't what they wear or what they say. It's the things they do and how they treat everyone. Well, in my book, Aqua here is number one. Okay, bro. Let's... <laughs> enough with the hand-holding, all right? Thanks, Horace. I promise I'll try not to let you down. <laughs> I vote for Aqua, even though she's not a citizen here, because she's the only one who would play fruit ball. <laughs> See that you don't. My vote's very important. Oh, dear. He sounds serious. Pluto's <laughs> just here for no reason. Being popular is tough. Okay, so this, this next scene is the scene where they announce the winner of the Million Dreams Award, and fun fact... Which, you can get this scene in any of the stories. Basically, whichever story you play third, you'll see this cutscene. So if you if we were to start with Aqua and then Ventus and then end with Terra, Terra's story would be the one where we see this cutscene in. I just have always seen people get this in Aqua's story because, well, you're supposed to do Aqua's story last. 
Who do you think's gonna win this year's Million Dreams Award? Boy, oh boy! I hope it's the guy I voted for! I voted for him, too! Now that we got so much business at the shop, maybe we'll be number one! Wow, I got screwed sure would be proud of us if we actually won. Yeah, and I bet Uncle Donald would be pretty surprised, too! <laughs> Not really! <laughs> I won the most exemplary citizen award five years in a row. <laughs> Donald, no offense, but how the heck did you do that? I may have rigged the vote. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and thank you for waiting. Now it's time to begin the main event of our dream festival. The <laughs> Daisy's here for no reason. Award presentation. Just to look pretty. <laughs> Just skip to the part where you say my name. This is a shoe in. <laughs> and the winner is George Doin Doin. <laughs> George, he always wins. <laughs> oh, how very exciting. This year, we have multiple winners. The Million Dreams Award goes to Ventus, Aqua, and Terra. All three of you. None of us live here. We're not citizens of Disney Town. We should be ineligible for the vote. What the heck? <laughs> this is a farce. <laughs> you mean Ben and Tara were here? What do you mean? No. <laughs> There's gotta be a mistake. I'm actually I'm actually with Pete here, but for the wrong reasons. Everybody voted for Captain Justice. I made sure. Now go on, tell her. They're like, no, there's, there's only there's only six people here, excluding Aqua. It's the Taurus, Donald's nephews, and Chippendale. That's it. It's only six people. If if everybody voted, if it was a freeway tie, that means everyone voted for someone. Okay, so obviously Chippendale voted for Tara just because he was the racer. Horus obviously voted for Aqua. That means that two of Donald's nephews voted for Ventus for fixing the ice cream machine, and one of them is like, I'm gonna vote for this girl who nobody talked to. That way, I win. No. <laughs> Better try the other one. The Rogue Racer, Captain Dark. N nobody voted for you. You suck. Pete, we counted the votes very carefully. Ventus, Aqua, and Terra won. There were only six votes to count. I think you tried to do something good, but you were doing it for the wrong reasons, and you went about it the wrong way. Still, a couple of citizens must have thought you had goodness in you because you actually got a few votes. They knew you were looking out for them. Big whoop. I don't need their lousy votes. Just cough up my prize. Pete! They voted for you because they believe in you and care about you. How could you look down on that? I've tried to forgive a lot of things you've done, but this is too much. Now you finally crossed the line. That's where he crossed that the line? Matters to me. Besides, what are you going to do about it? Huh. I'm going to let you cool off for a while. Guards! Uh-oh. <laughs> Pete, you screwed up. Minnie is the queen. And she's very powerful, as we saw in Cage 2. Wait, wait, what? Magic brooms don't mess around. Hey, let me go. Put me down. I love how Pete didn't even try to get away. No, no, no. Hey, easy. Ow. I love how that is where Minnie crossed the line and not him trying to, like, run over Terra and kill him. She's just like, oh, Pete tried to kill somebody. Oh, that's fine. Pete doesn't appreciate the people who voted for him. Uh-uh, you're going to jail. <laughs> it always struck me as a little weird that, like, that's what made Minnie snap. Now, shall we continue the ceremony? Would the three winners, Ventus, Aqua, and Terra, please come up and join me on the stage? <laughs> well, Aqua, or <laughs> Terra and Ventus dipped. I must have just missed them. That keeps happening. Perhaps you would accept the award on their behalf. After all, you've been so kind to so many here at the Dream <laughs> You played all the mini games. So now, I hereby present the Million Dreams Award as a token of how much you matter to us. Congratulations! This is a farce! Aqua is not a citizen here. 
Again, I'm like, I don't agree with Pete that he should have won, but I definitely agree that we should not have. <laughs> and the citizens are too ill-informed to understand why this is a travesty. And as an extra treat, this just got real. I wish I had my own ice cream flavor. Okay, that that was the grand prize that Pete was like, is literally going to jail for. <laughs> He's like, I really wanted the flavor of ice cream. Or maybe they didn't announce what the prize was. And Pete's just like, I bet I'll get to rule the kingdom if I win this prize. And it's like, hey, Pete, your reward is ice cream. What? <laughs> and that's why he joined Maleficent. She's like, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You can take a lick. I just... Oh, no. I was about to be... Aqua's the kind of girl who has to Instagram her ice cream before she eats it. That's a big red flag. Delicious. You couldn't have picked a better flavor. Oh, man. I just realized, if if you can get this... I've never seen this cutscene of anyone but Aqua. Okay, like, Ventus, obviously, he'd probably be, this is amazing. <laughs> Tara eating the ice cream. I have to see that. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll edit it in 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 editing if I can find it somewhere else. But <laughs> I feel like Tara eating the ice cream. He'd be, wow, this is delicious. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, Tara liked the ice cream. I, I hate ice cream. So now I hereby present the Million Dreams Award as a token of how much you matter to us. Congratulations. <laughs> And as an extra treat, we've created something special. An ice cream flavor just for you. Double Crunch Ice Cream! Oh my, I wish I had my own ice cream flavor. What's it taste like? Go on, try it! you think? Mmm. Wow. It's great. So, now, I hereby present the Million Dreams Award as a token of how much you matter to us. Congratulations! Thanks. And as an extra treat, we've created something special. An ice cream flavor just for you. Rock and crunch ice cream! Oh my, I wish I had my own ice cream flavor. What's it taste like? Go on, try it! What do you think? Hmm, this is fantastic. <laughs> what kind of a festival is this? Aqua just gets up and like, here's your ice cream, and then everyone has to watch her eat the ice cream on stage while everyone else doesn't get to eat it. This is terrible. She's not even a citizen. This is a farce. What the? <laughs> Mini sealed get, uh, Pete in the sacred realm for not appreciating people voting for him. This seems a bit excessive. Who does she think she is dropping me in a place like this? Well, I'll just bust out of here and... Quite fool. You do not possess that kind of power. Who? Who's there? Show yourself! That is enough. Stop your sniveling and heed my words. Um, okay. If you do exactly as I say, I may decide to release you. Really? Oh, then you can count on me. Just get me out of here, and you can tell me what to do. A very wise choice indeed. Proceed. With your help, soon every world in existence will all be mine. 
And that's how Pete actually joined Maleficent. Minnie sealed him in the Sacred Realm, and Maleficent, like, saw him here and must have been like, Dang, Minnie sealed this random guy I don't know in the Sacred Realm. Like, he must be dangerous and powerful, not just in a timeout, so she breaks him out. I guess it's kind of funny, but also, like, it, it feels forced. <laughs> like, so much of Birth by Sleep. But whatever, there we go. We completed Disney Town. Disney Town! We unlocked the command board for Disney Town. The Dream Festival is a well Yeah, 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 sure, whatever, whatever. Actually, we're not going to the Hercules world today. We are going to head over to the good old Mirage Arena. Start performing some of the, uh... Some of the places here. Oh, wait, actually, hang on. I forgot to check. Now that we've unlocked Disney Town, can we finally buy Esnua? I want to buy Esnua so that way we can, um... Meld Renewal Barrier. That would be really nice. Da -da -da, here we go, it's Mickey Mouse. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's right. I couldn't buy anything here because the shop is in Fruit Ball Plaza. And I couldn't actually go to Fruit Ball Plaza without being forced to play Fruit Ball. Stupid chorus. Can't we buy Esnua now? We can buy Sonic Blade, Slot Edge, Fire Strike, blah, 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 blah. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Now we can meld Esnua with one of the barriers we bought once upon a time. And we'll attach an abounding crystal to that. Renewal barrier with Lucky Strike. So long, focus barrier. We don't need you anymore. And you know what? Let's buy two more barriers. So we can uh, meld the other two barrier commands. Barrier plus Confusion Strike gives us Confuse Barrier. One other thing I realized, we never actually leveled up the Mickey Mouse D-Link. And I think we should change that. There we go. We get auto-teleport for the first level up. And here we go! Max level Mickey D-Link, now with double EXP. Just no ifs, ands, or buts, you just get double EXP for existing. And now we get his super finisher! Faith Charge. Oh boy! I sure do love that D-Link! Actually, on the subject of D-Links. Uh, so yeah, we want Air Dive for Ventus. I do not like Land Breaker for Terra, so we're going back to the original finish. Yeah, we can keep Chip Fake Charge. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's fine. We only have five D-Links. We gotta change that. Oh hey! Crawling Fire! Triple Fire Raga uh, have reached their maximum level. Well guys, you know what time it is now. It's time to meld Fission Fyraga with Crawling Fire to get Mega Flare. And we will attach an Abounding Crystal to give it EXP chance. Oh, how lucky. <laughs> That's really gonna help for the Mirage Arena. Here's another one. We're gonna do Mind Shield, Mind Square of Pulsing Crystal. This gives us Seeker Mind with Finish Boost. Seeker Mind is kind of an upgraded version of uh, Mind Square in some ways. Set Explosive Magical Traps next to you, which zoom towards and stun any enemies that get too close. So it's kind of like Mind Square, but it moves towards the enemies that get too close. So you might think that's just better in every way. It does have a weakness, though. Um, you don't stagger from damage while you're casting it, which is pretty good on paper, but this also means that you can potentially die while casting it, even if you have Second Chance and Once More uh, equipped. Because Second Chance and Once More do not activate while you are casting uh, Seeker Mine. It's not really going to be that big of a deal for most of this, but when you come to the bonus bosses, that actually is important to note. Alright, here we go. Arena time, let's start the Day of Reckoning, and with Mega Flare, this should, uh, should be pretty easy. <laughs> Round one. Oh no, the fire guys still survived. So right at the beginning, Seeker Mine's not that good because it only makes a couple mines, but once it's max level, it creates a lot more. Bye-bye! <laughs> yep, absolutely wrecked. I love you, Mega Flare. 
Oh boy, I do not like you, though. The Iron and Prisoners are not very well designed as far as boss fights go. Well, at least Aqua's shot locks are ridiculously powerful. Okay, apparently guarding that does not work. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Time Splicer. Ooh, that was a cool ending uh, camera panoramic. That was really cool. Didn't have to heal at all. It's a good thing, too, because I didn't even bring any cures in there. All right, let's go to... Ooh, this is a new one. Wheels of Misfortune. This, I think, is only for Aqua. Down to the wire. Finish within six minutes. Looks like we're going up against the Cursed, Carrot, or cursed Coach again. Alright. I'm gonna shot lock these guys because the fire guys will not die to the Mega Flare. Yes, Time Splicer! <laughs> the birds are a problem, though. Get wrecked. The finisher looks so cool. All done on it. The fire dies again. Oh, I still have Kickstart My Heart as my finisher? I do not want that. I want to go back to Expecto Patronum. I believe it is boss time now. Yep, it's the cursed coach again. Should be easier this time despite him having more HP. Whoops, that was dumb. Oh, well you're no fun. Okay, we actually gotta be careful here. Because I don't have any way of healing outside of Renewal Barrier. Oh, never mind. This'll finish him. <laughs> Yay! More maximum HP! <laughs> Take that, Cursed Coach. You win! I do love winning. All right. Triple Blazaga and Fandago have reached their max levels. How wonderful. Okay, yeah, we want to go back to Expecto Patronum. That, that's very important to me. Okay. Hey, Moogle, what can we get from the shop now? 
Ooh, Flame Salvo is something that we need to get from the shop here. Okay, we're gonna get Photon Charge, because that's better. And we'll get Aerial Recovery. Start leveling up Photon Charge. <laughs> Resets all my commands again. Thanks. Risky Rich- Oh, we can do Risky Riches already? Well, that's cool. We can save that for later, maybe. Weaver Fever. Four rounds. Uh, maybe if we're gonna do Weaver Fever, maybe, just maybe, we want a Kiraga. For safety. <laughs> it resets everything again. Great. Round one. Now we can start using the Mega Flare. And look at all those levels. <laughs> yep, that's Mega Flare. Blade Charge Finisher for the win. Expecto Patronum! Still here. You ruined a perfectly good Mega Flare, but it's okay. Boss time. Now we get to fight the Wheelmaster as Aqua. This is the Wheelmaster. A shot lock is not going to do a whole lot of damage. It's such a low level. It'll do a lot of damage, though. Ooh, yeah, that finisher. Photon Charge will be insane for Aqua once she gets to the max level, though. Okay, let's head back. Bye bye. <laughs> fire. Okay, the fire wheel again. It's hard to avoid his attacks with fire wheel, but fire wheel just dealt so much damage to him. That was hilarious. <laughs> you win. Oh, yes, we did a perfect 8 out of 8 style change in shot locks. Yes. Fire wheel has reached max level, and so has renewal barrier. Well, Hanke Dory. Uh, sure. Let's try Sinister Sentinel. I'll probably regret this with Fire Wheel equi equipped, but... Wanna try it anyways. There you 
There's always one. Now we can see our attacks aren't doing as much damage. But as you can see, yeah, we're using Blade Charge a whole lot more as Aqua than we did as Terra. Partly because Aqua's Fire Wheel makes it really easy to enter Blade Charge. <laughs> Oh good, level 2 Photon Charge. Bye-bye! Specto Patronum. See, now you can see our secret mine is making a lot more mines because it's a much higher level. Now it's time for Iron and Prisoner number two. This fight should be a lot harder than the first one, especially since we have a low level shot lock. But at least we've got a Kiraga this time. Alright, that dealt a lot of damage. This'll finish him. <laughs> there we go. Man, I forgot how good Time Splicer is. It's so fun. Fortunately, it's not going to be very good against the endgame bosses, but whatever. Oh, we didn't block nearly enough. That's okay. We didn't need to. Sonic Blade has reached its maximum level. That is very nice. Not that I don't like Sonic Blade, but, well, for Aqua, it's not as good. Should I just buy four Thunder Surges? Probably not. Maybe that's going a little bit overboard. As you know, no, it's not. We're buying four Thunder Surges. <laughs> four Thunder Surges, absolutely worth it. Oh, but we do want some cures. Actually, yeah, some cures would be nice. Yeah, I think we're buying like five of them. Just so we can level them up. Uh, please understand, value Nintendo player. <laughs> Blizzard plus Blizzard with Shimmering Crystal gives us Blizzaga with the final Blizzard boost we need. Cure Cure Shimmering Crystal gives us Kira with Cure boost. Cure Cure Shimmering Crystal gives us Kira with Cure boost. Alright, well that's gonna do it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Thanks for watching everybody. So, uh, in between this episode and the next one, I will probably go back to Disney Town, complete all of the minigames to get all of the prizes. And, yeah, that's likely going to be it. I also might grind up the commands, uh, command board a little bit just so I can get the Pete D-Link. And I'll let you guys know what comes of that in the next video when we will go to Olympus Coliseum and potentially go back to Mirage Arena. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.